Subnautica let's play and I thought this would be a relatively nice place to start building a base Because I'm gonna have plan to have a window viewing over over there. And I thought that'd be quite a nice view to have So let's start off with our multi-purpose room Just stick one right there Oh sounds glitching a wee bit And yeah, there does seem to be a glitch where it'll be black when it's got like no power. No power. Uh oh, what do we need for that? We need quartz. Yeah. Uh, is there any quartz nearby? There's a piece. Ah, there's lots. One, two. Pretty sure we need some for the hatch too. So there we go. Let's get this back. Stick that nicely in the middle. It looks quite nice there. Power restored. Lovely. Power restored. All primary systems online. The feet haven't spawned in, but oh well. And I want to place my window I want first. Because I want it to overlook this. It's not exactly the right angle I want, but I want a window there. Lovely. Oxygen! Oxygen! Oopsie. So I've got my window there. Hatch. Where should we put the hatch? Where, where should we put the hatch? I think here. For the first hatch. And we'll have a hatch on the other side of the base when the base gets quite big. We're just going to build a wee bit the now. Because, eh... Uh, it'll be safer to go inside and talk. Let me in. Welcome aboard, Captain. Because, where is it? Where is it? I'm looking at the wrong thing. This here, reinforcement, is how I like to reinforce my bases. You can reinforce it with... Where is it? This stuff here. The foundations, which require lead. Which is a wee bit easier to find, and I have found some in the game so far, over in the volcano type area. When I was playing about on my own. But, again, I don't like them. They're ugly. Let's take a look out the window. Yeah, that's a nice view, is it not? Not pretty. And see, the thing is, I love windows. Oh, that window's crap. But I like symmetry, too, so I've got a window there, a window there. A window there. Oh, that window's nice. And out of glass. So for now, we'll put that away. Probably going to make our next little expansion to the base there or there, one or the other, maybe there. Because yeah, it looks like there's not as much stuff over there. But let's put. Do we have enough for? Now we need quartz. We need quartz for everything. I've got enough for some lockers anyway, so let's stick some lockers here. Oh, one locker. Two locker. Three locker. There we go. That's initial storage for this base done. 
And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour all my resources from our there to over here. And oh, I just realized that I don't have a... Oh, I don't have enough for a fabricator. And I've used my titanium. And I don't have a beacon. It's going to be a pain to find this place again. Hopefully, I'll try and remember exactly which way I came and try and go in straight lines. But Jess, I'll see you all in a second when I've filled these up and put a beacon underneath my base. Right, it was quite simple to find it again. I built it in a really, really quite close place. It's just a simple hop over. So let's just go down here. Deploy the beacon so I never lose it. Edit beacon name. Home base. Enter. Come into here. Beacon manager. Home base. We're going to change it to yellow to make it easy to find. And as soon as I'm done transporting the resources over, I'm going to deselect life pods. So, I'm going to go drop the resources I've got on me now in the base. I'll be back in a second. Well, we're back, everyone. I've managed to port everything over. I got rid of the beacon for the life pod. And we're back here. With that said, I want some glass straight away. Just so I can finish off this window now. And then we should... Boop. There we go. Happy now. Ah, uh, meh. I've got a couple of really nice windows, though. Right, though, we're going to need a fabricator. Which means I'm going to need copper and quartz. So let's take a look in here. I'm going to need titanium anyway, a couple of quartz. And where's all the copper? A couple of copper. Take a look, fabricator, we'll stick it just there, like so. Because we're going to need a fabricator in here. This is our base, after all. So this room here is going to be like the main sort of stray of the base. It's going to have the important stuff like storage, fabricator. Then I'm going to have like a... Well, the way my base worked in the other subnautica is I then had a second room which had the water filtration bit in it. Then I had an upstairs to go to the bedroom. Then I had uh, hallways after that that led to a big bioreactor room that had a bioreactor on a level above it and then it had three levels of uh, the glass tank below it and then I ended up building a second bioreactor on top so it was like two levels of bioreactor three of just giant fish tank and store all fish I have encountered a problem though before I, as I go out and continue oh, and then I had moon pill on one side scan room it was nice, it was nice I'm probably going to do something similar here and I'm still getting that glitch where this is black but, if you look around, you may notice a certain lack of pink fish. And to be honest, I don't even think it's me that's been overhunting them. See these things? I think it's in a problem in game right now. I'm just guessing there's a problem in game right now. Because the number of times, when I've been going looking for bladder fish to try and uh, get my water, I've often been fighting with these things to get to it first. I think these things actually have overhunted the bladder fish. I don't think it was me, unless. And so, yes, it's another problem I've encountered. Bladder fish. Look, see, just there, now I ate one of the eye eyes or something. I think there's either too many of them or they're eating too often. And they seem to prefer bladder fish to anything else. Because they're always going after bladder fish. The only time I see them going after something that isn't a bladder fish is when there isn't a bladder fish around. So yeah, it was there where I wanted to put this, wasn't it? Yes. It wouldn't let me put it on that wall, I don't think. Lovely. And our whole strength is now at 2.8. I'm not going to have room to build much more. See, that's the pain of liking windows so much. The windows do like to take away from the strength. Oh look, the legs have spawned in for here. So that's our base built up so far. We do have a wee bit of strength left. We can afford maybe one or two more windows. Then we're going to have to wait. Ah, uh, I can't! This, I've, I spent ages 
I paused the game and I spent ages looking for bladder fish. I found one. Yeah, we need oxygen shirts, so let's go on inside. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard. Whoa! Well. That's a thing. 0 0.5, that's as much as we can do. That's as much of the base as we can build right now because I don't have access to lithium. And I don't want to uglify it by adding lead. So see, I want to have a window here. I want to have a window there. Um, I will put the reinforcements there and there. That'll give us some strength. When it comes to this room, I'll probably have it on three walls because I'm probably going to put another hallway here or maybe here and then have four windows again. I could swap the windows to be there, there and there and then just not have one there and then come off at an angle. Nah, I don't like that. Nah. And the reinforcements will be going on there and there and there'll probably be another hallway there or there. So yeah, there'll be two in this room as well. And then that'll allow me to build more. Oh look, a bit of grass. Hello, a bit of grass. I really wish I had the whole integrity to build more. What we can do for now is... Is there any interior stuff I want to build? Miscellaneous little table, counter, shelf, bed. Tell you what we could do for now. If it lets me. Just because a single window ain't going to make it feel much cooler. Let's come out here. Oh, I don't have enough titanium on me. Is there titanium in here? Oh, one bit. Is there titanium in here? Yes, there is lots. Don't know why I need that much. Can I build it from in here now? Let's see. I cannot. Okay, out we go again. Building, 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 building. I know, but there's not much I can do about that right now. And to have everything I need for a ladder. Yeah, it's just tie two titanium. Just two titanium. Ta-da! There. And this will be the bedroom. It was very near nice, reminiscent of the base I built. I'm not trying to make it identical, just I'm following similar lines to the one I built last game. Now that ruins our view a wee bit, I think, there. Not if you look like this. I can't see it. It probably won't ruin it when uh, there's like windows and there's windows there and Yeah. And it's the light colour palette. I think it's ruined it a wee bit there now because it's black and it looks like it should be lighter because it should be lighter. But yes. I think to make this window cooler, I might extend the base this way, so this is kind of like a window you can look at the base from. I think that'll make that one a wee bit cooler. So I think we'll have the base expanding that way. But yes, I hope you've all enjoyed this. Before I die, let's call this a part, and let's call this series paused because we're going to pause it now until the next big update now when the next big update comes out i don't know when that is i don't know if that's going to make it no longer save game compatible i wouldn't be surprised if it does so i might need to start again if i do have to start again um i'll get back to this point and then we'll start playing again uh, from this point um, i'm not sure 
But if it is save game compatible, I'll be able to just load in and play it from here again when the next big update comes out. And we're waiting for the next big update because the rest of the storyline isn't properly implemented. There's no voiceover lines. There's no nothing like that. I did notice when I was going around gathering, actually, there was... There. There this. There was another speech thing. Here this, except there wasn't voiced over because it's not in game yet. And it's the same with all this stuff. It's not fully implemented after this. It's not fully implemented. It's not fully anything. And I'm going to quickly just... There, because I see my hang bleeping. And I might need to start again as well with that... Eh, uh, the water problem. Unless this game that is a new problem that's put on it, like it's maybe it's a very delicate ecosystem and introducing you, just taking five is enough to exterminate the bladder fish here. Maybe they've done that on purpose and you're meant to, it's meant to force you to rush to water filtration. Maybe that's one of the things that are is like a difficulty spike in this game is the bladder fish disappearing or maybe you're meant to be getting here just as the bladderfish population is being exterminated. I don't know. Is well, exter not exterminated, but is going extinct. I don't know. So maybe it's not a glitch. Maybe it's just not thingy. Does it even say anything? I'm gonna save the now anyway. And if we go into data banks, we go to indigenous life form. What? Ladder fish. This unusual herbivore appears to be mostly defenseless and bears little resemblance to other life forms around it. Semi permeable bladder, the bladder fish are open ended visceral tubing, largely, ob uh, largely oblivious to threats and particularly immobile at night. It is only identified defense mechanism is that it's composed almost entirely of water and air cartilage. Assessment edible oxygen may be retrieved from the bladder and added to the blood tanks and consumption. Membrane has applications in water filtration. So it doesn't say anything about them being going extinct or that there, so I don't know. I would expect it to if there was a thing. And look, we're about to die. So yes, hope you've all enjoyed this. I'll see you all next time, whatever that may be. Bye-bye.